back with another 2021 rookie profile. Is Terrace Marshall Jr. a heat seeker? Watch and find out. Brad from RotoHeatAndRookieDraftGuide.com. Welcome back to the channel. If you haven't subscribed already, would you please do it? Do it for the fantasy news. Do it for the fantasy outlooks. Do it for the live streams or the, all the things that we do throughout the year. Would you do it for us? And if you have already, thank you. We appreciate it. Drop a like. Let's get this thing up to 200. And don't forget to check out RookieDraftGuide.com. Question of the video is, Terrence Marshall, a top five rookie wide receiver in your mind. Let us know in the comments below. Terrace Marshall Jr., the 6'3", 200 pound, 6'2", 6'3", 200 pound receiver out of Parkway High School in Bosher City, Louisiana, um, was highly touted. Number one in Louisiana, number three in the wide receiver position, number 13 nationally in the 2018 class. You know, offers from everybody. LSU, Florida State, Texas, A&M, Texas, Alabama. I mean, you name it, they wanted him on that roster. You know, an Under Armour, All-American game player. Uh, you know, he just, he he came out with a lot of hype. Um, unfortunately, the college that he went to, you know, not necessarily wide receiver you, but man, there was a lot of receivers on that roster that he just didn't get the amount of playing time that he probably could have at some of those other schools. And even earlier on, you know, his college career, when you look at the at the numbers, you know, there's just not a lot there. You know, his freshman season in 2018, he was in nine games, had 12 catches, you know, 192 yards, which is 16 yards a catch. Uh, 2019, we know that prolific season where, you know, the, the world was on fire, basically. They took over. Uh, 46 catches, you know, he played 12 games. 671 yards, 13 touchdowns, you know, just under 15 yards a catch. I mean, in that offense, everybody was getting touchdowns. It was it was raining. Um, this year, obviously, LSU took a big step back, trying to kind of figure out their identity and do some of those things. Played seven games, 48 receptions, 731 yards, 10 touchdowns, you know, over 15 yards of reception. So obviously we saw we saw continued growth, you know, not a ton of receptions, but he continued to to improve year over year. Uh, get a little bit more involved year over year. You know, there's a, there was a lot to like about him. And, and some of what we're going to have to do when we're projecting a player like Marshall is really, is truly projecting what we expect at the next level. So when you look at a lot of uh, college big boards or, or um, you know, um, just people's rankings, ratings, the Roto Heat team's ratings, you know, Marshall's kind of in that next tier of player, you know, and a lot of it, I mean, he's ahead of some guys that are stat machines and have a lot to show in college because there's a lot of potential there to, to be kind of a featured receiver if he's given the opportunity. Now, obviously in college at LSU, he wasn't, I mean, he was given opportunities, but he was not given um, you know, uh, the Bama treatment type thing where you have that kind of true number one receiver, other guys get involved. He was kind of one of the other guys, you know, but think about what was there. Justin Jefferson's of the world, Jamar Chase's of the world. I mean, there's, there's a lot there that, you know, uh, and then 2020 hit and, and there just wasn't a lot of game time. So um, we are projecting a lot on this player. You know, the guy, the evaluators, information and ratings and rankings is based on film. You know, we look at tape and we let our eye, we trust our eyes. Uh, but there's going to be a little bit here that it's going to be kind of wishful thinking based on what we've seen. So the big question, what do we do with him? Remember, my question to you in the comments below is he a top five rookie wide receiver in your mind. When I look at the team's overall ratings and evaluations, Spoiler, you can find him on rookiedraftguide.com. Just putting it out there. Uh, it, yes and no. So this is a deep draft class. There's a lot to like about the 2021 wide receiver class. You know, think about what's up there with him. Chase and Waddle and Devonta Smith and Rashad Bateman and then, 
you know, Amon Ross St. Brown, Rondell Moore, Seth Williams. I mean, the Tylen Wallace. I mean, there's there's a lot of receivers that could potentially push themselves into the top five conversation. Uh, some of which have statistics to kind of go with to support them. Um, I, Marshall, for me, I think is a really interesting prospect because he could be a featured wide receiver. He has the profile, the size, the speed. Um, you know, we saw every year at LSU him continue to get more involved, which makes me believe that the football IQ continued to develop. Teams trusted him a lot more, start to put him in a role where he could get to be a little bit more featured. Um, you saw that he could get the ball and go, and go get the ball out of the air, kind of, kind of attack it away from his frame. There was also times where we saw that, you know, I don't want to say the dropsies, but saw some times where maybe it was concentration drops, you know, maybe it was just coverage, you know, drops, things like that. I mean, there's was, there was some times where he saw the other side of it. You know, Marshall to me is a guy that um, played a lot in the slot, you know, especially in like 2020. And, and we saw him more outside in 2019. So you can see that he's been all over the field. He can do a lot of different things within. So I think that gives him scheme versatility, which teams like. He isn't just coming into an offense to be the big slot receiver or just coming in to play just truly your Z, your X, you know, whatever. And he could kind of be that guy you move all over the field. Um, he's got just enough twitch and acceleration and all the things you want to see to, to show that he could develop into being one of those true featured receivers. Um, this is a strong class. There's a lot of really talented guys here. So maybe Marshall... Uh, falls down the actual NFL draft a little bit and goes to a team where um, he could come in and, and just kind of be the guy. You know, most likely he probably comes into a team and is behind a number one, number two type guy and needs time to grow and develop and, and work his way on the field, which, you know, is fine. I mean, at the receiver position, you're drafting him now, but he could be on your roster, you know, for a decade or more, if uh, depending on how things go for him. So I think Marshall's one of those guys that you definitely want to try to target. Uh, rookiedraftguide.com will tell you where to target him if you want to get him. Our team works on mocking and, and, and all the rookie mock drafts and things like that. Um, I thought there were some really interesting comments from the team. You know, uh, great athletes, secure hands, ability to play inside, outside, um, very small concern about drops. Uh, we saw those are all types of things that I saw the team talk about as we were evaluating him. Um, I'm, I'm a fan. I know a lot of guys on the team have – uh, some interest in him as, him as a top five type receiver. Some of them have him just outside the top five. Uh, again, I want to know in the comments, what do you think about Terrace Marshall Jr.? Um, he's a guy that I think, looking back in this class, people will be surprised about him because you could see the hard work and, and the, the attention to detail eventually pay off. Um, I will say, you know, we don't want to sugarcoat it for you guys. So I will say some of the guys on the team thought that maybe the effort wasn't there 100% of the time. That could be a concern if that if that's accurate. And obviously, we don't know specifically, you know, we're outside the player's head. But I will tell you that, you know, some of the guys had concerns. Most of them were a little bit more higher on them. Uh, but, you know, that's that's the way it works. That's why we, we as RotoHeat, RookieDraftGuy.com, we have an evaluation team. It isn't just one guy's you know, opinion. This isn't just me saying how I feel about players because you don't want just one person. Group think is always a good thing. And that's what we do here. So make sure you let us know in the comments below. Is he one of your top five rookie receivers? Don't forget, let's keep that conversation going over on Discord, over on Facebook, on Twitter, wherever you want to talk, we're here. We're here to listen. We're here to help. We appreciate you guys. We love you guys. Take care of each other. And we'll talk to you again soon.